Okay, in this video we're going to look at decimal place values. We'll just do an introduction and then we'll look at tenths and hundredths. Okay, then we'll look at thousands and ten thousandths. Then we'll look at writing each decimal as a mixed number and then saying the name, reading the name of the number. And finally, we'll write each number as a mixed number and then as a decimal. Okay, given the name, right? Okay, so let's begin with the introduction. And um, just when you start with this first number, it's as you, you might be familiar, that's 1425, right? Now, what I'd like you to do is please get a piece of paper. Piece of paper. Okay. Okay, and with your piece of paper, just like you to, um, you know, take both pieces of paper like that. Okay. <coughs> Let me just look at this number here. Okay. <coughs> We've got <coughs> 1,000. So this one here is a thousand. So I'm just going to write thousand. Okay, 400, so this is 100, and 20, so this is a 10, right, just two 10, so this, this is a 10 uh, uh, digit, and this is a 1's digit. So we got thousands, hundreds, tens, and 1's, right? I guess you put S's maybe on the end, maybe you'd like that better idea. Thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, and um, thousands, of course, is um, well. We'll write it out. That's thousands, right? Hundreds, hundred. Uh, tens, ten. Ones, one. Okay. And what I'd like you to notice about this pattern is that um, to go from a thousand to a hundred, we could. Um, divide by 10, see? To go from here to here, we divide by 10. 1,000 divided by 10 is, is 100, right? What's 100 divided by 10? It's 10, isn't it? And 10 divided by 10? 10 divided by 10 is 1, right? So what's 1 divided by 10? 1 divided by 10 is 1 over 10, right? And that's called a tenth. T E N T H. Now I'm gonna and and in between the ones and the tenths uh, on uh, sorry these are tenths. In between ones and the tenths on these um, <coughs> numbers, I'm gonna put a, a point. That's called a decimal point. That's a decimal point. Okay. All right. And I'll just make up, so let's say we have three tenths, okay, so 0.3. So now it's 1,425 and three tenths, or 1,425.3, okay. So let's continue with our um, sequence here. <coughs> if I was to take it one tenth and divide that by 10, right, if I was to take one tenth and divide that by 10, I would get 1 over 100, wouldn't I? 100th. Uh, so that's 100th. So it's a 100th. H U N D, 100th. R E D. So you write 100, the word 100, then you put T H on the end. Okay, so the next uh, digits are going to be hundredths, right? So let's make up, pick a number, anything, 8. Okay, so let's say we've got 8 hundredths, okay? So now the number says 1,425 uh, and 3 tenths and 8 hundredths, okay? And the next uh, in the sequence, if I divide by 10 again, I get 1 over 1,000, and this is called a thousandth. So you, you spell the word thousand, and then you just put a th at the end of it, th. So we're going to look at thousandths, and let's put... Uh, Let's put a seven there. Let's imagine we've got seven thousandths. Okay. So we got one thousand four hundred twenty-five, three tenths, eight hundredths, and seven thousandths. And um, <coughs> this is 
you can also say 0.387. So 1425.387, okay? So see if you can read, see if you can read this number, 3789. What does it say? It? Say what that is. Well, there's two ways. You, get, you can say 3789.423, or you could go 3789. Um, you know, and four tenths and two hundredths and three thousandths. Okay, well, kind of. Um, believe it or not, what we like to say is three thousand seven hundred eighty-nine, and this you'll find is actually four hundred twenty-three thousandths. So let's try and uh, see why uh, that is in a minute. Okay, but in any case, this is the tenth spot. That's the hundredth. That's the thousandth. And keep your piece of paper. Okay or using throughout the chapter, okay? So we'll go on to page two, and we'll just do a nice study of uh, tenths and hundredths, okay? So 0 0.1 is one tenth, it's actually one over 10, believe it or not, as a fraction, okay? Uh, what's 0 0.4 as a fraction? Four tenths, isn't it? Four over 10, right? What's 2.5 as a mixed number? I'll tell you, it's got a whole two, and then the point 0.5 is some number of tenths. How many tenths do you think that is? It's five tenths. So of course, we could put these in lowest terms, two and a half, this would be two fifths. Look, just for now, we're just gonna write them out like that, just no need to put it, any of these in lowest terms, just because we're the, the purpose of the exercise is to see what decimal um, digit matches to what fraction, okay? So this one here, 7.4, can you write that out? It's seven and how many tenths? Four tenths, right? So 7.4 is seven and four tenths. Or you could say $7.4 dollars is seven dollars and four dimes, isn't it? The same thing is 7.40 in money, right? So what's 19.2 dollars? $19 dollars and two dimes, two tenths, right? Or you could say, well, it's like 1920, or uh, $19.20, okay? Alrighty, let's have a look at hundredths. 0 0.01 is one hundredth, okay? So you've just gone over the, the sequence there, hundredths, okay? <coughs> um, so what's 0 0.02? Two hundredths, isn't it? Right? What's 0 0.09? You can just write down the answers. Nine hundredths. What's 0 0.19 though? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Well, let's think about cents here. Like 0 0.01, that's one cent or one hundredth of a dollar. Because there's a hundred cents in a dollar, right? 0 0.02, that's two cents, two hundredths of a dollar. 0 0.09, that's nine cents, nine hundredths of a dollar. What do you think this is? Write that as, as just one fraction. Can you do it? How many hundredths is it? How many cents is it? Well, it's 19 cents, isn't it? 19 hundredths, right? How about 0 0.58? How many hundredths is that? 58 hundredths, right? 58 hundredths. Or 58 cent. Same thing, right? How about two dollars and seventy-four? Two dollars seventy-four. Two point seven four is two dollars and how many hundredths? How many cents? Well, it's gotta be seventy-four, right? So you do this one. Thirteen point eight one. Write that as a mixed number. Thirteen dollars, eighty one hundredths, right? How about one hundred and forty seven point four six? One hundred and forty seven, forty six hundredths, right? All right, let's move along to thousandths and ten thousandths. We looked at our sequence here. We've got thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, and then thousandths, one over a thousand, okay? And that corresponded to this 
part of the des of a decimal number. So 0 0.001 is 1 over 1,000, or 1,000th, one thousandth. thousandth, right? So what do you think 0 0.002 is? Two thousandths? Yep. We won't put them in lowest terms, it's just the purpose of the exercise is just to turn the decimal into a uh, fraction. Okay. How about 0 0.008? Eight thousandths? How about 0 0.018? Here's an interesting one. Okay. So if you agree that this is eight thousandths, surely this one has to be how many thousandths? Because if the decimal, you know, it ends here, it's how many thousandths? It's eighteen, isn't it? Yeah, eighteen thousandths, right? How about 0 0.024? Turn that into a decimal or a fraction. How many thousandths? Twenty-four. So if you've got three digits past the decimal point, then you're talking about thousands. If you've only got two, that was hundreds, right? And if you just have one, then that's tens, right? Anyway, okay, how about this guy? If you've got not just 24, but 120, 124, 0 0.124. Is that 124 thousands? Yep. How about this guy? 0 0.586. Five eighty-six thousands, right? How about this guy? Four point eight nine one. Okay, so this is four holes, and we've got one, two, three digits again. So again, we're dealing with thousands. So how many thousands? Eight nine one over one thousand. Now let's read these numbers. This is four and eight hundred and eight hundred ninety one thousandths, isn't it? This number is five hundred and eighty six thousandths. This number is one hundred and twenty four thousandths. This number is twenty four thousandths. This is eighteen thousandths. This is eight thousandths, right? So write this number down and read it. All by yourself, write down and read it. Okay, now I'll do it. It's 13 holes, and I've got three digits, one, two, three, so that has to be past the decimal point, so that has to be thousands. Okay, so now it's thousands, and that's just 57. So to read this number, it is. 13 and 57 thousandths. Okay. 13 and 57 thousandths. Alright. Okay, let's have a look at 10 thousandths. I guess that was something we could have added onto our sequence here. We went tenths, hundreds, thousandths. So 10 thousandths. So we write the word ta thousand, write the word thousand, then put a th. Now it says thousandths. Ten thousandths. It's going to be ten thousand, right? So one over ten thousand, basically, right? And of course, you know, up here you would have the big ten thousand past this thousand. Anyway, so ten thousandths, right? And that is uh, four uh, digits past the decimal point to the right. So that is one over ten thousand. Right? <coughs> so 0 0.0002 is 2 ten thousandths. Right? How about this guy? 0 0.0006. 2 is that 6 ten thousandths? Yep. How about 0 0.0016? So this was six ten thousandths. This one is one, two, three, four digits after the, to the right of the decimal point. And so that has to be ten thousandths, first of all. Okay? How many ten thousandths? 
Well, 16, right? But what if you had 0 0.0116? What's that? Can you do it? It's one, two, three, four digits past to the right of the decimal point. That means we have to use it's gonna be ten thousands because look, how do you remember? This is this is you this is ones, okay? Then we've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So it's one hundred and sixteen or one hundred sixteen ten thousandths. How about this guy? 0.1116 and again it's ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So we know we've got ten thousandths. So how many of them do we have? One, 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 six. One, 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 six. Or one thousand, one hundred sixteen, ten thousandths. That's a funny one, isn't it? Okay, how about this, these guys? 4.8947. That's four ones. So we'll write it as a mixed number. Four. And how many ten thousandths? Right, so again, it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So we're four, des four places, so it's got to be ten thousand, and it's eight, nine, four, seven, right? How about this guy? Press pause and write the answer to these two. So this one is 283. And I got one, two, three, four digits. I got tenths, hundredths, ten thousand. Sorry, start again. Tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands. So I know it has to be ten thousand. How many? Five, nine, four, one. Okay. Write this number. It is three eight four and some fraction part. Once again one, two, three, four digits, so that's ten thousandths, or or you just go tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths. So ten thousandths, four hundred three. So, so the say the full number it's 384 and 403 ten thousandths. Say this one. Read that one and then see if you say the same thing as me. So read it. Say it to yourself. Okay, now I'm going to say it. 283 and 5,941 ten thousandths. Okay? Say this one. Say this one to yourself, and then I'll say it. Say it to yourself. Okay, now I'll say it. It is four and eight thousand nine hundred forty-seven ten thousands. Okay. All right. So our next goal is to. I'm just mix some some up here. So we're going to write write each decimal as a mixed number, and then say the name of the number. Okay. So start with tw with this one. Write this number as a mixed number. Like, it's got to be 23 holes, right? And, and what fraction part is that? So again, and, and I guess on this, after your ones, you've got the decimal point, okay? And the tenths, of course, is um, 0 0.1, hundredths is 0 0.01 thousands zero point zero zero one they're over here ten thousand zero point zero 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 one right so I guess we could put that in that might help us too right put the uh, the decimal and the fraction part for our for our for our cheat sheet here okay okay anyway so twenty three point four that is twenty twenty three and after decimal point first thing after decimal point is tenths right twenty three and four tenths okay now this guy is four and what four point oh seven is four point zero seven is four and I remember if you just read them out you've got tenths and then hundredths right tenths and hundredths so four and how many hundredths seven four and seven hundredths okay 
course your cheat sheet should match up to tr help you out here anyway 81.125 is 81 and what have we got we've got tenths hundredths what comes after hundredths thousands yep and how many thousands 125 so we've got to say the name it is 81 and 125 thousandths okay what what's the name of this one four and seven hundredths right okay write this one and then say the name seven and I've got tenths hundredths thousands ten thousands ten thousandths and two two five five two two five five so now say the name what is that seven and two thousand two hundred fifty five ten thousandths right okay how about this guy <coughs> write down the answer and then say the name as a mixed number it is three holes right three holes there's a decimal point and let's see now I've got tenths hundredths thousandths ten thousandths oh I've got another one what's this other one going to be can you guess so like I said I got tenths hundredths thousands ten thousands what comes next do you think what is next is actually hundred thousandths. Or one over one hundred thousand. And that is zero point zero 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 one. Anyway, hundred thousandths is the next one. Okay. Alright, so we got once again we got tenths hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So the it's gonna be hundred thousands, thousands, and of course it's just hundred and six. So to say the name, read this now. Read it. Three and one hundred six hundred thousands. Three and one hundred six hundred thousands, right? Okay. Go ahead and do this one by yourself. Write it as a mixed number, then say the name. Okay, we got 14 holes, and then what's the fraction part? Did you get it? So we've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Ten thousandths, right? And 203. So say the name say it okay now I'll do it 14 and 203 ten thousandths 14 and 203 ten thousandths right? yeah, okay. so let's do these guys we're going to write each number as a mixed number and then as a decimal okay so 27 hundredths go ahead and do this yourself you can press pause if you need to. 27 hundredths. So we'll just do these um, uh, four problems. 27 hundredths. Okay, well, I guess I'll take out my cheat sheet maybe. Hundredths is 1 over 100. I need 27 of those. 27 hundredths over 100, right? Um, as a decimal now, that corresponds to. So with, here's a decimal point. Now the first digit is tenths, and then we have hundredths. So how about this? Is that going to work? Tenths, hundredths, twenty-seven hundredths, and don't forget put a zero. Always put a zero to the left of the decimal point if, if needed. Okay. So that's the answer there. Now what about this guy? Three hundred fifty-eight ten thousandths. Three hundred fifty-eight ten thousandths. So if I'm doing ten thousands, it's going to be over what? So I'm just I'm going to do ten thousands. That's what I'm looking for. So it's going to be all over ten thousand, right? 
Now I've got to write 358. Write 358. 358. So there's 358 ten thousandths. We've written it as a mixed number or fraction, basically. Or, you know, so we're going to write this as a mixed number or a fraction. Obviously, this can't be written as a mixed number, it's just a fraction. So um, now, how do you write that as a decimal? There's no holes, so it's zero point something. And um, now we're going to have, look, we're going to have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Isn't that true? Tenths, hundredths, you know, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, right? And it's three, five, eight. So, doesn't that make sense? You would just do that, three, five, eight, ten thousandths, and then of course there's no, nothing here, so we'll just put a zero there, right? Does that make sense? Tenth, hundredth, thousand, ten thousandths, right? Okay, what about four hundred and three? Four hundred, okay, you know what? There should be a comma between some of these, but I gotta be careful. Always check the back of the book on these two. Four hundred, and then, then and three hundredths, okay? So 400 actually means that. That's what they mean. The actual number 400, then the decimal point here. Okay. Okay, so I'll just, I'll, I guess I should do the uh, fraction first though. Sorry. So I've got the number 400 and how many hundredths? A certain amount of hundredths. How many hundredths? 400 and 300? Three, isn't it? And I write that as a decimal. It's going to be 400 point something, right? So we've got hundredths. So tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands. So we just need hundredths, tenths, hundredths, right? So three of them, three. But uh, if you only three hundredths, then there's there's nothing here. So we just got to put a zero there, right? So it's four hundred point zero three. Four hundred point zero three, right? Okay. How about this guy? Two thousand two hundred twenty two. 222,000 and I should put the word I should have put the word and here. So 2222 and 222,000. Let's start with this. So this is the the big part, right? 2222. Can you write that? 2222 Okay, and the other part is the 220 Two thousandths. Okay, so that's got to be some sort of a fraction, right? And what type of fraction are we talking about? Thousandths. Doesn't that tell you there should be what on the bottom here? What's your denominator? It's going to be thousand, right? How many thousandths? Two hundred twenty-two. Two, 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 right? So that's a mixed number. Now let's write that as a decimal. So the first part's the same, obviously. And then the decimal point, and can you fill in the rest? Write in the rest. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna do my usual tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Oh, you don't need that, right? We just need tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? So, how many of them? One, two, three. Two hundred and twenty-two, right? So, two thousand two hundred twenty-two and two hundred twenty-two thousandths, or two thousand two hundred twenty-two point two two two, is usually the way we say it. But we need to understand um, each what, what each uh, uh, digit means, of course, in decimals, right? <coughs> 